How are you? This is wonderful, isn't it? One year now Terry's been here. That's amazing. That's pretty good stamina, but uh, I've been watching you since Fernwood tonight. Yeah. Well, great. <laughs> uh, tell me, what is like one of your most awkward moments in the industry? I'll tell you, um, I was, I've was i always been mistaken for a guy named... Um, George Frank, Clooney? No, yes. <laughs> Frank Bonner, who was on WKRP. And uh, he was always mistaken for me because we were on a on Fernwood tonight about the same time as WKRP. So I was doing a TV pilot and about the third day the producer was walking me out of the room he says, now Fred, is, this is the, kind of the way you worked on uh, WKRP, isn't it? I didn't know what to say. So I finally said, uh, that wasn't me, it was Frank Bonner. And sure enough, they, they, when they did the series they tried to get Frank Bonner instead of me. Frank wouldn't do it. The actor they got to take my place got on the show and convince the young guy who was the star. Oh wait, oh, I gotta get you it. got it. I'll get that for you if you want. You got um, it. <laughs> the young star was Chad Lowe, um, and he said to him after about the third week, he said, "Chad, you shouldn't be doing a TV series. You want to do movies." So about the fourth or fifth week, Chad Lowe said, "I'm not going to be in this series anymore." So I think it did him well. But I've been mistaken for him, so it's always kind of awkward. And now people say, "Hey, how's Lonnie Anderson?" or something. I just say, "Oh, she's fine," rather than correct them. How, how often do you get out to Vegas? Well, I don't... Pretty... Last time, a couple years, we saw Terry when he opened at the Hilton. Then we saw him when he opened here. And uh, so maybe twice a year, and then we'll go two or three years without coming, and then maybe three times. What's your favorite game to play here? Do you ever gamble, or do you strictly I do not? not? If I were a gambler, I think uh, 21 would be my game. My wife will uh, play the poker machines, and... Um, I'll stand around next year and she'll give me a cup full of quarters and say, go play. Five minutes, I'm back, empty-handed. I'm not a good uh, gambler, but she, she knows what she's doing, I think. So. Now, your wife, I know, will get mad, but yes. if you could play strip poker with anybody one-on-one, -on -one, who would it be? One-on-one? Uh, -on -one, uh, well, I hope it would be a... I think uh, one of my favorites is Nicole Kidman. I hope she wouldn't be too good uh, a poker player, and maybe I would... Um, you know, I'm happily married, so it wouldn't. Mind, I wouldn't mind. I mean, if she had to take off her clothes, it's not like I would care. It's uh, you know, I'm a happily married man, but just you know, it'd be. I, I like her acting very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show.